Welcome back everybody to Witchcraft with the Arthritic Artisan. My name is Sandra. Witchcraft are we going to be doing today? We're going to be taking some ordinary wood cutouts, adding some fabric, and making some French country chic farmhouse eastern spring decor for your home. Stick around and let's get started on this project. You're going to need some wood cutouts and some fabric of your choice, some Mod Podge, some scissors. To start, we're going to just cut some fabric to fit each of the pieces. If you're using a patterned fabric, pay attention to the design and try to position it before you cut it out where you think that it's going to look best on your piece of wood. Next, we're going to add some Mod Podge and give it a good layer and put that fabric down and get it sticking. We're going to want to take a squeegee or a credit card or anything stiff and work from the center out just to remove all the air bubbles that might be trapped under there. Once you have everything in place and you have all the air bubbles out, we're going to put another layer of Mod Podge over the entire project. Once you get done with that bunny, do the same to the egg. You can, if you prefer, trace your pattern onto the fabric, cut it out first, and then lay it over the Mod Podge on your project. I prefer to leave it as a whole piece of fabric and trim it later. That way I just know that it's going to line up perfectly and I'm not going to have to worry about if the edges are aligned. I also don't have to worry about if the edges are going to fray or not because by the time that I cut it out, the Mod Podge is already there and it's going to prevent all fraying from happening. Next, you can just set this aside and let it dry. And once it's completely dry, we're going to get your pieces, turn them over, and before we trim the fabric, we are going to put a coat of white chalk paint all over the back. If you don't want to add the chalk paint, that is completely up to you. I prefer to have a finished back on anything that's going to be displayed in my home or especially if it's a piece that I'm going to sell. But you don't have to add the chalk paint if you don't want to, or you could paint it pink, blue, green, brown. Everything is completely up to you. Now, once the paint has dried, we are going to take our scissors or a craft knife, and we are going to trim, trim, trim. And this takes a little bit of time on the bunny, but just be patient, put on some good jams on the radio or, oh my gosh, do people still use radios? How many of you out there still know what an eight track is? I am giving away my age. All right, let's be careful with the craft knife getting into the small corners. If you lay it face down and work with the blade going down, you don't have to worry about pulling the fabric away from the wood. And just keep going, keep going until you're done. Wait until you get to the egg part. It is so much easier. It went so completely smooth. It's gonna be like magic after having done the rabbit. Watch this, here we go. Round and round, round and round. And even if we hadn't sped up the video, that went really quick. Sadly, I did lose all the footage of making the fabric look dirty. Next, we're going to need some ribbon. Then you're going to go into your spouse's closet and get a pair of blue jeans because we need some denim scraps. And we are going to trim out a few strips of fabric and then we're going to be adding that with some lace and dirtying it up a little bit. We are essentially just making our own trim. I didn't find anything in my stash or anywhere that I really liked, so I just kind of made this up. I took some strips of denim and added some lace from the Dollar Tree, some lace ribbon over the top of it, and then a piece of braided jute. I took some Distress inks and I mixed several colors together just to make it look a little dirty and worn. I didn't want it to look too clean, and if you look at them together, you can see the difference in the character that's added just by adding a little bit of distressed ink. I took the rest of what was left on the ink dauber, and I went around the outside edge of the piece just to 
make it look a little bit more worn down as well. Next, we hot glued our handmade trim onto the front of the egg. Then I took some jute and wrapped it around the entire outside of the piece. And then I'm adding an upside down handle on the back. And that is so, if somebody wants to use this piece as a door hanger, they have that option. But if they're gonna use it to stand up as a display in their home, then that handle will be completely hidden on the back. We added a small bow of jute to the top of it, and then we moved on to Mr. Bunny Rabbit. I had a hard time deciding if I wanted to do a bow on the ear or a bow on the neck, and I couldn't make up my mind, so I did both. Here we're just repeating the same process that we used on the egg when we made the trim, cutting out the denim, adding the lace ribbon and a little piece of jute, some distress ink, distressing around the outside of the bunny as well. We put a bow on the neck trim. That's all that we did different as far as the trim goes. And then I had a piece of burlap left from a project that I had previously been working on. I took that piece of burlap and another piece of scrap denim. I cut out another flower shape. I put the burlap down, then I put the denim down and a jute flower that I had made on top of that. Dirtied up the burlap, dirtied up the denim, of course, and dirtied up that jute and before we attached that bow to the ear, I just went back and trimmed out in those little nooks and crannies where we had put the trim around Mr. Bunny's neck. Then we are going to take jute and wrap it around the entire outside perimeter of Mr. Bunny Rabbit. I did speed it up for you and now you see like magic, we are here. We already attached the flower to the ear and now we're putting an upside down handle on it. And look at how gorgeous these turned out. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and until next time, have a magical day.